Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and in this video, we're going to go over even more updates made to Playwright to enhance the UI mode and trace viewer. I love doing these kind of videos because I find the UI mode and trace viewer amazing when I'm trying to author tests or debug tests. So I just like to share the knowledge on this. So this has been a new update from Playwright for version 1.35. So make sure that you're on this version or greater if you're watching this in the future. Run npm install command. And then make sure you also run the npx playwright install command because as part of this version, browsers have been updated, which means we need to update to those. And that's what this playwright install command is going to do for us. Awesome. So let's jump right into it then. So I want to go through a bunch of updates that have been made in this version to make our life even easier. And the first thing I want to talk about is the playwright VS Code extension. A little update to that, which allows us to view UI mode directly from the extension. So if you don't already have it installed, click on the extensions tab here and search for Playwright. What I would suggest is pause in the video here as well if you've never used this extension. I'll put a link on the screen and the descript in the description to my Playwright VS Code extension video. And I'd suggest going through that, but I'm not going to be covering that off. I'm just going to be covering the update to the UI mode. So when you have that installed, you will have this testing tab appear. If you click on it, it'll show you all the tests. In my case, I only have one test. You already see I've already got it checked because I've been using this previously. But there's this new checkbox for show trace viewer. And what this allows is us to view the UI mode or view trace viewer as we are executing our tests. So I'm going to check this box. I'm just going to run the tests. Now, what we should see is UI mode or trace viewer pops up for us and the tests execute. If you have one single test, you'll see it'll appear straight away for you. And I'll show you what you have to do with multiple in a moment. But then instantly now you've run your test via the VS Code extension and it's already opened up UI mode for us or trace viewer. So we can have a look through if something's failed or there's any issues. We can look through it and debug what we need. So let's close that down and let's show what happens if you're executing multiple tests. So I'm just going to copy this test. It doesn't matter if it's in the same file. Just need to rename the test to something else. Now, if we refresh, we should see there's two tests. So there we are. Let's run both of them. And I find this quite neat because I was wondering how this was going to work when you have multiple tests and how Trace Viewer shows them. But it's really cool. Once we execute all of our tests, Trace Viewer will ask us to choose a trace. So you can see we've already highlighted on this. So if I drag this across, we view in basic test two, which is the second test. But as soon as I click on something else, so this other test, this basic test that is executed, and I go back to the trace viewer, you can see it's picking up what we're selecting from the test tab here. So if you run 10 tests and you want to see the trace for one of them, you just select it from this test explorer and then Playwright does all the work for us. Once again, if you test select something that's not, so like the top level folder or just a spec file, you'll see here that it's telling you as well to select the test to see. So that means if you ever see that issue, you just haven't selected the test inside the Explorer. So if I go to basic test, now it's popped up for us and it's given us everything we expect to see from the trace. Awesome. So that's the update made to the VS Code extension as part of version 1.35 of Playwright. But what else have we got? I could have shown you it while it was loaded. So I'm actually going to do, I'm going to re-execute this test. And what I've done inside this test then, tell you what, we'll delete this. So it doesn't have any confusion. What we've done in this test is we've said, add a page.root. What page.root will do is it provides the capability to modify your network requests that are made to a specific page. So what I've said then is listen for a network request here, which is loading the index.css. And I'm saying abort it. That network call to the CSS file there will not work. We've aborted it. So when we actually go to this demo playwright page, what we should see is the CSS is looking really funky. So let's go into here. And you can see we've got a page.root here, but what we can see now, any network requests we are making to this go to, they're nested underneath. So we can see there's a page.abort. And as we click on it, look, you can see that it's, there's no styling at all on this. And I'll show you what it looks like now 
when we remove the abort. But what you're seeing now is any kind of routing commands that we call are all going to be nested underneath whatever that whatever they apply to, which is really useful because you can say then, okay, I know I have something which is going to abort a network request on this one, but then when I'm going to my commit quality page, commit quality page, nothing's wrong with it because we haven't got any kind of routing requests on it. And just to show you then, if I uh, comment out this one and we rerun the test. What we'll see is it looks like this. You've got the styling of the to-do MVC. So that was the second thing I wanted to show. And there's only two other things, which I think these may be a little bit underappreciated because there's one thing about open up UI mode when we run NPX... I write test and do dash dash UI. This opens up the UI slash trace viewer as its own application. But what Playwright have done now is they've offered us the ability to do this via the browser as well. What we can do now is we can say MPX Playwright test dash dash UI port zero, hit enter. And this means it's going to open up in the browser for us. Oh, we had a typo there. It's UI hyphen port zero. And what we can see now, the same UI modes appeared, but it's opened up in our default browser. And you can do exactly the same things. You can run your tests, you can debug. Everything will look exactly the same. It's just opened up in browser mode. This is for UI mode, but they also have it for trace as well. So what we can say is NPX playwright test, and we can say uh, show trace port zero. Hit enter, just because we added playwright test, silly me. It's MPX playwright, show trace, port zero. And here we go now is we can drag in our trace files and we can view them as expected. So I'm going to worry about going to the, you know, the, the trace website itself. I can just do this and drag them in. It just saves a little bit more time. And that's what I wanted to show. I really like these updates. I love anything to do with trace view and UI mode updates. And they keep coming. Playwright just, it's the gift that keeps on giving. They keep updating this and they keep adding these little features that are slowly making life a little bit easier when we write in Playwright. As always, if you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe would be appreciated. Thank you for watching and have a good day.